you. Deputy Owen Murphy. Deputy. You're very welcome. Um, when you came in as, as, and took over the role of Deputy Governor, did you make any changes or did you continue the work of your predecessor? Well, uh, I think I've, you know, described that, you know, in a sense, in banking supervision, my work was to replace what he had put in place by the SSM. So um, it's not that it was uh, uh, not a good domestic framework and a good, uh, and a good response. I think it was a, a you know, a much needed response and a much needed improvement in the specialization, is in the organization, in, you know, in, in framing banking supervision. So I think that it's, it's fair to say that when I arrived, uh, I had a much, much better banking supervision uh, um, than uh, when he arrived. But, but then I had to replace that by something else. So, more clear, sorry. Yes. Would you describe the changes that you brought in as a break with the past or a continuation? I, say it's a, uh, I would say it's a reinforcement. It takes the prism system, right, a re-space system, um, the ethos behind it, you know, that it's challenging and it's re-spaced and um, there's guidance and there's an enforcement cycle. All of these principles are good and they've been maintained. But the system, the uh, prism system, no longer applies to um, uh, Irish banks because now they, uh, uh, it applies through the ECB system, IMAS. Now, um, where is IMAS coming from? Well, the ECB looked at the various systems across the Eurozone and uh, to, to decide not to build something from scratch, but take one uh, and build from it. Which one did they choose? They chose PRISM. So they, they took the Irish system and built on it. And so would you say you encountered any resistance then in your work internally? Resistance from, from, from staff or resistance to ideas or the types of changes you were trying to make, either internally within the organization yes. or from other authorities in the Irish state? Well, I, I, no, I think they were delighted. Uh, people were delighted that you know, we could you know, go uh, do an even better job, that we create. Uh, I think the biggest change yeah, has been the uh, uh, addition of a, uh, of a division of on-site supervision. You know, we, we used to do some on-site uh, work, but uh, shorter and not dedicated. Now, this is heavy duty, spending weeks on end, uh, day in, day out in institutions. I don't think institutions are delighted, but my staff are. Coming to this, this on-site inspection idea, yes. I mean, Deputy McGraw already raised it with you, um, and you said I think there was 40 people now as yes. part of the on-site teams. Yes. I take it as a result that they're spending more time then in the banks because the Controller and Auditor General previously yes. had criticised the number of inspections taking place. So can we assume then that there are more inspections taking place in the banks? Uh, they, are, they spent almost all of their time in the banks. And there was also criticism from the CNAG about the methodology being used in the course of those inspections. Mm. Those criticisms were made in, I think, 1999, 2007 and 2009 about the methodology for calculating risk and how it needs to be improved. So mm. what changes have happened there in terms of the work the teams are doing in calculating risk? Well, I've, I, don't, I, you know, I don't know what the CNG criticised. All I can tell you is that the methodology for uh, on-site inspections developed in the ECB with the help of, of, uh, of those um, countries which are a tradition of uh, on-site inspection is just entirely different. It's a different world. I couldn't even compare. Yeah. Just to give an example of that, just yes. to see how things have changed, yes. because in the, in the Honan report on page uh, 70, he was talking about the 5x5 the five five big developer exposure inspection that took place yes. in December 2007. Yes. And as part of that in inspection, they had high priority findings and medium priority findings. And one of the medium priority findings noted that one bank had underestimated its exposure to an individual borrower, borrower by one billion. Right. So my first question would be, would that still be a medium priority finding? Well, this is very, you know, uh, look, uh, you know, this is going to a, um, an amount of detail that I, you know, I just kind of, I don't know exactly how you, you know, you put, uh, you grade your findings. All I know is that, you know, if, if uh, a mistake is made or more or worse, then, you know, we'll be uh, quite active in, in demanding that it's been changed. So, you don't know the ranking system for high priority, medium priority. When these on-site on inspection reports come back to you, they will have findings: high priority, medium, low. 
Yes. Are you not familiar with how they... Well, I don't, I don't read uh, the, the dozens of, uh, of, of these reports. Okay. You know, I could not possibly... In, in but when Mr. Neary was here, yes. he intimated that a, a high priority finding right. would be highly unusual. Yes. Um, well, yes or no, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yes, you would, you would like. Okay, well, let me ask the question another Is way. Is there then. things that you want to address first, I guess? Yeah. yeah. Well, would, 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 would uh, a bank yes. underestimating its exposure to an individual borrower by one billion? Right. Would that be something you'd want to address first? Yes. Okay. Well, the first, compared to the, you know, if, yeah. if there's something else even more important. Okay. Yeah. Would that still be possible today? Would it still be possible for an inspector? Wrap you up there. Yeah. Quickly. To go in and to, to find something like that in a bank in Ireland today? Such an underestimation. I think the, it's the other way around. Now we have what we, I, I don't think we had, I can't speak about the past. Now we have teams going and spending weeks on end and, and covering uh, things that they, there was no possible way of uncovering before. We're, it's, a different, it's, it's just a different world. So uh, it's not, we're not just tumbling upon this instance and that instance. You know, we are opening all the books. This is very intrusive, very time-consuming for us and for the banks. It's uh, something that did not exist here. Thank you.